Hey everyone, Technomentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the calculator app on your iPad. So let's get started. So unlike your iPhone, under the utilities folder, you'll notice there's a built-in calculator, but that isn't the case for your iPad, and that's just the way Apple designed iPad not to have the calculator, which uh, we're simply not sure. There's many theories why that's they don't have it. And in order to get a calculator, we can still get a calculator by going into the App Store and then we can go to search here and then you're going to want to search up calculator. So once you search up calculator, now there's tons of calculators app out there that works for just the way the regular calculator works on your iPhone. You're going to see some ads, some are free, some are paid depending on what you're looking to do. For example, this one I found calculator that's pad edition is really good as you can see here, i already installed this one it looks like this there are some ads here but then the other day you can use it similar to like your i uh your iphone it's just that it's not built in so you're going to have those ads so that's one calculator option you have other ones you'll see here the go way to determine if a good or not is looking at the ratings here as you can see this one's 120 196 this one has 121 this one has 1 1.6 million but this one there is a paid version of it so whatever calculator you want to download test it out that you like yourself you can use it there's a lot of math apps as well so if you are looking to get one simply go ahead and find that one just click on that get and then use your apple id account to install it and you'll be able to get the calculator app on your iPad it just will not be the one from your iPhone it's not the built on one so most of the ones that you see here have different functionalities but again we'll get the job done for you so that's how you get the calculator app on your iPad I hope this video was helpful if so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and other iOS devices see you guys next time